Hello everyone! Today we have a bluey book called Mom School. Bluey and Mom are in the lounge room playing with lots of balloons. Suddenly, Bingo runs through in her towel chased by Dad. Hey Bingo, good work for having a bath, says Mom. Yeah, but she hasn't cleaned her teeth, complains Dad. It's Bluey's bath time too. I can smell you from here, jokes Mom. But Bluey wants to play mom school with the balloons as her children. Their names are Windgust, Dronigan, Pearl, Lightning Bolt and Kiwi. What about that one? asks Mom, pointing to a balloon floating on the ceiling. Oh, Greeny, you're such a pickle, says Bluey, grabbing him with a robot claw. Mom still wants to run the bath, but Bluey hands her a clipboard to record Bluey's score for being a good mom. You don't need someone keeping score, says Mom. But when Greeny escapes to the ceiling again and Bluey throws a cushion at him, Mom changes her mind. Now it's movie time for the kids. Two points to Bluey when she suggests Greeny holds her hand so he doesn't fly away again. He's such a handful. Mom gives Bluey zero points for putting a cushion on Greeny's head. Two points for telling off Wingust for calling Greeny a cushion head. Zero points for allowing Greeny to hit Wingust to get him back. The kids are getting a bit out of control. Maybe it's time for some exercise in an indoor pool, suggests Mom. But Bluey has trouble making them walk along the hallway. It's frustrating when they don't listen to you, sighs Bluey. Yes, it is, agrees Mom. Maybe Bluey can show them how to walk properly. I'll show them all right. Bluey says, boinking them with a roll of wrapping paper. Zero points from Mum. Come on, Greeny, you're old enough to walk by yourself, says Bluey. Greeny finds walking a little tricky, explains Mum. Oh, nonsense, says Bluey. This way. But Bluey puts all the kids into the pool except Greeny. Now, Greeny. If I let you out of there, are you going to behave yourself? asks Bluey. I think you know the answer, says Mum, raising an eyebrow. But other than giving Greeny a boink with the wrapping paper, Bluey doesn't know what to do. But before Mum can offer any advice, they hear Dad and Bingo coming in. I just have to mark this other student. He's in Dad's school explains mom as they hide in the shower. Dad is still trying to get Bingo to brush her teeth. Put me down, yells Bingo, squirming out of Dad's grip and running away. Dad gets two points for making it fun. Zero points when he gets distracted and Bingo slips away again. And he gets five points for the tickling move. Unhand me! I don't want to clean my teeth! But then Dad stops and examines Bingo. Hmm, there must be a reason why you're being such a pickle tonight, Dad says. He wonders if Bingo is still hungry. I'll race you to the kitchen, Dad exclaims. Wackadoo! Mom gasps, giving him top marks. Blue is impressed. Maybe she can have another go at dealing with Greeny. Bluey takes Greeny out of the basket, holding him gently. Hi, sweetheart. There must be a reason you keep floating off. Bluey wonders what it could be. Maybe Greeny just likes exploring, but he's not old enough to go exploring on his own yet. One day you can float up as high as you want. But for now, here's a special present, so you don't go too far. Bluey ties a magnet to Greeny's string to keep him down. 
Because I love you so much, says Bluey. And that's worth full marks at mom school. Finally, Bluey jumps in the pool with the kids for a splash. Nice work, mom. After the bath, it's time to get dry. There you go, darlings, says Bluey, patting her kids with a towel. She's almost past mom school. Bluey wants a go with a hairdryer, sending the kids flying everywhere. But one kid floats all the way out of the door for an adventure. Greeny. Does this mean I fail mom school? Asks Bluey disappointed. Yeah, but that's okay. We all fail mom school sometimes. We can just start again tomorrow, says mom. Will Greeny be okay? Asks Bluey. Yeah, I think he'll do just fine replies mom. How do you know? asks Bluey still unsure. Because he's got a good mom.